previously on a journey into DCC. I gotta destroy everything, all the evidence, all my videos. I gotta destroy it all. What is this? There it is. The perfect DCC system. It's all mine. What? Where am I? Who are you? That doesn't matter. Where's my trance? I do know you. Hmm, you're obviously got me confused with someone else. Nah, that's no, not. No, 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 no. I have seen you suffer before. I know I have. Stop distracting me. Where's that I tramp? Know. Jurassic Park, that's where I've seen you before. Welcome to Jurassic Park. I'm Captain Arduino. And I want my transmitter. I told my mom to put the shirt out with the A on it. Oh, man. I have no idea what you're talking about. Don't play dumb. I know you got it. You have the device. And I need it. I need it now. Do you work for the development? The transmitter you hold converts dislikes into likes. I need it. I have many bidders for it. So I need it from you right now. I know you have it. Even if I knew what you were talking about, I wouldn't give it to you. Playing hardball, eh? I've got something for you that'll change your mind. Ah, these'll do the trick right here. Yeah, put these on his ears and he'll start talking. <laughs> Where did he go? Hi everyone, and welcome back to another chapter of A Journey to DCC. Today I'm going to build my bench work. And like I said in the last video, this is the first time I'm going to build tables to suit my track plan instead of building a track plan to suit my table. Before I start construction, here are just a few items I'll be using to build my bench work. A square, miter box, level, wood, saw, hammer, screws, glue, Sanding block, screwdriver, measuring tape, green tape, blue tape, black tape, stud finder, trusty rusty knife, pliers, felt pads, scissors, blue marker, black marker, two red markers, more screws, drill bits, pencil, barbecue lighter, and a lot more screws. I'll be using the same framing method I used to build my 4x8 layout. In fact, I'll actually use some of the same wood in some parts from our old layout 25 years ago. I'm using 1x4s for the frame half ply for the top, and 2 by 2s for the legs. Here's a breakdown of all the sections of my bench work. You can see I have six tables to build. To start things off, I'm going to build the biggest one, which will be the easiest, and once it's built, I'll have a nice straight table to work on. First step, measure and cut my wood. Without a workbench, I had to improvise. I have no problem using my handsaw and a miter box, although I sure miss choppy. Next, I made the frame. For this I used my big square to make sure the inside supports were perpendicular to the outside frame. Keeping my frame square as possible will make it easier to attach the ply tabletops. I screwed the wood together and on the ends I pre-drilled to avoid splitting the wood. My bench work will be 4 feet high and this was mainly an economical decision because I bought some 8 foot 2x2s and cut them in half. Also it's a nice height to work on and to see the trains go by. Before I attach the legs, I had a felt pad on the bottom of each leg so I don't scratch the floor. Unfortunately, I didn't take a lot of video of the framework, but here's a shot of the last section's frame. Before I screwed the plywood down, I called the inspector in to make sure my work was up to code. And here we have the final product. You'll notice two colors of plywood. The darker one is from our original layout, and the lighter is new wood I purchased recently.
I only added legs where I needed them. Too many legs would interfere with storage. I also braced the legs where needed. You'll also notice that my lift out section is not complete. That's because I want to add fascia first. I am very pleased with the outcome. And the good thing is, I only suffered a few minor injuries. Now that my bench work is up and secure, I can start the fun stuff. In the next chapter, I'm going to put some foam down, draw my track lines, and glue down some cork road bed. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, take care. I just want to thank Richard, I mean, Tom Kovicak from Tom's Strange and Things. He's a really good sport. He went over and above on those uh, clips. I reached out to him a few weeks ago, and boom, right away, I got the clips back, and they were fantastic. So go check him out, Tom's Strange and Things. Playing hardball, eh? I've got something for you that'll change your mind. And you're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it at all. You'll see. Mark my word. <laughs> I couldn't stop laughing on that. <laughs> Go on, get your own device. Okay. You have you have the device. Okay. This one's mine. Get your own. Playing hardball. <laughs> hardball. Mark my word. I'll get it out of you if it's the last thing I do. I gotta find some alligator clips. I forgot where they were. I'm a terrible actor, but you know, you get what you pay for. You know why? Because it's free! You don't have to pay a thing for it! Now, what does this thing really do? Ring my bell!